Kiran Kaushal welcome everyone on the brand new season of Science Bits only on Bharata Post. This season is all about science which is simplified in a short, crisp and a unique manner by the experts. So this platform enhances your scientific temper and knowledge. Science Bits involves broad explanation of the topics ranging from the latest scientific trends and discoveries to discussion of the previous year UPSC civil services questions. Additionally, CBSE 11th and 12th uh, science topics also discussed. Let your curiosity out and ask questions through a form which is provided in the description box below. Enhance your knowledge and creativity. Now, I would like to introduce to our science expert, Dr. T.V. Venkateshwaran, who is a senior scientist at Vigyan Prasar, New Delhi. He is also founder of India Science Wire. His area of research includes science, technology, and society. So, the today's question is, explain the latest Pegasus software project. How such attacks are affecting the national security of India and how government plans to deal with them effectively. First thing I want to tell you is that uh, this uh, current uh, news about uh, the uh, Pegasus is not a malware. Okay, It is not a malware. It is a deliberate snooping uh, tool which uh, the maker, the company which made this uh, Pegasus says that they sell this only to legitimate governments, not to private individuals, not to companies. That's what they claim. Uh, and then uh, they sell it only to a specific government and with the specific purpose that those governments will be able to monitor uh, let's say, for example, terrorists or uh, people who are indulging in uh, financial crimes, uh, heavy financial crimes, like, say, for example, money laundering and so on. Okay. So that's the uh, background. So this is not a malware in our usual sense, like a virus. Okay. So how does this work? Uh, how does this spyware work? Today, a uh, lot of people have worked on how this uh, spyware work and then they have put out this information. Okay. So basically, uh, uh, it is said that uh, it can infect devices, any device which is connected to internet, okay. And uh, apparently some of the latest versions of this uh, spyware uh, can even infect you even without you doing any particular action. See, many times the virus enters us because we click something or we accept something or we open some image, right, something like that. Here, uh, apparently you don't need to do anything, it just comes into you, okay. And uh, it because the uh, way the uh, spyware is constructed is that they are not constructed as a, a normal program. Okay. All of us know, for example, whenever you buy a mobile phone, uh, when you are setting it up, it asks you about uh, do you want to uh, set up, for example, find my location. That is what does it say? That is suppose if you lose your mobile phone somewhere, then you can go to the internet, use your login and then find out where that mobile phone is in the uh, Google map, right? So, which means that uh, the uh, uh, police will be able to locate that mobile phone and take it away. That's what uh, is the idea, right? So, this PyWares come as such a program, okay? So, because it is coming as such a program, the uh, antivirus softwares are not able to stop it. So what does this spyware do? Whenever you have a mobile phone, okay, your mobile phone is connected to a particular server, okay, your service provider. I mean, like uh, whatever whoever is your service provider that you are connected to the server, and the server data is connected to the cloud. That is how, for example, your uh, photographs, uh, your audio, your video. We know it now. It's there in the gallery. So they are all in the. Uh, Sometimes when you want to change the phone, I mean, uh, you are putting your WhatsApp messages into the uh, cloud and then you are downloading it, right? So sync, these are all options, right? So what is happening is that your mobile phone is uh, communicating with your server. When they communicate between a mobile phone and server, there are some uh, locks, passwords and things are. The spyware takes that uh, pa clones, that uh, password credentials, and then it is able to log to the server. Once it logs to the server, it can take not only the data that currently you are transmitting, but all your past data. Okay, whatever your past data that is there in the uh, cloud and the server, 
uh, in your system can be taken and then it can have a continuous surveillance that is any time you use phone or whatsapp or any messages that messages can be taken by people who are uh, put that uh, spyware into your system okay so it can access your uh, microphone recording it can take your email it can take your uh, sms even if you have switched off your location service it can track your location okay it can take files from your uh, 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 systems any system that you have connected to the internet that's the uh, spyware okay so these uh, spywares are essentially used for uh, snooping uh, like i said that uh, many governments use it for keeping tab and control on uh, uh, terrorists like it's in ancient times uh, people used to uh, bug telephone right uh, tap telephone right so in the same way the modern times we have a modern uh, uh, communication system so these are all spy equipments i mean spy softwares for uh, snooping with the modern uh, uh, information communication system